So this little bugger gave me a lot of trouble. First Pharmacy would not fill it, which was my own fertility pharmacy because it's not covered by insurance. And so they were just like, nope, you have to get it somewhere else. Thanks for clicking on Simply Tanika. I am Tanika. If you are new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Let's hang out a while. If you are returning, welcome back. What's up, fertility fam? We gotta do what? Let's get those babies, ladies. What's up, fertility fam? How are you? It is, as you can tell by the title, unboxing of my IVF mitts. We got here today. I'm super excited. I, um, I'm going to tell you about my Omnitrope. Let's just do the other stuff first. Still a little traumatized. Okay, here we go. La, 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 la. Oh, you know what? I want to show you this too first before we get into this new stuff. I still have a pin of Gernal F. I have a little more, um, it doesn't have to be refrigerated, but it was just easier to stick all of this in here. I have two things of Sectortide, which is going to be used in my priming. And I'll do half a vial in my priming every day. And then I will do, um, whenever they tell me. It helps delay ovulation, but it also is supposed to help the egg quality as well when you do it in priming. Oh, I have three things of Sectortide. And then I don't even know how much Minipure I have left. There's a lot of it in here. So... Those two don't count because those are the water. Um, and I have another thing of the waters here, but I put them all together. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things of Minipure left over from my last cycle. If you haven't done IVF before, um, you usually end up with more than you need. They Even this clinic says to have at least two days of meds at all times so that... In case you have to order more, because it might take uh, two days to have it delivered. So here's the Sharps container, the HCG. This is for the trigger shot. So you always take that um, as directed, but you take it before, I think it's 36 hours before you have your egg retrieval. This helps finish the maturation of the eggs and it helps um, get them ready for release. They are gonna pull them out, hopefully, before ovulation. I think the last time, I ovulated two of my eggs. If you haven't seen my retrieval video, they only got one. We thought we were going to get three. Um, I will link it somewhere and uh, you can check it out. But I was happy to get one and happy to have it fertilized and all that good stuff. So these are needles. Here's the Minipure. So we have one, two, three, four, five. All of these have refills. The Minipure, again, it does not have to be refrigerated. So it is outside of the ice chest. Um, and then there is, you can't see that. Let me see. Take the lid off. There's the ice chest. Lovely bag of ice. Oh, and Centratide. So I have, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven additional boxes of Centratide for a total of 10. And then, oh no, there's more. Wait for it. There's more such a tight. Um, what do we say? 10, 11, 12, 13. So now I have a total of 13 of the such a tight. And then I have one, two, three, four gonal F pins in addition to the one that I already have. So this time around, what am I taking? I will tell you what my dosages are. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. did she put it on here? Oh, you know what? The S trace. I came. I got it from a different pharmacy. Let me grab it. And I'm back. All right. This just came from the local pharmacy. Z Chemist is what I use. These are my S trace pills. The rest of this um, stuff came from the fertility pharmacy. So it is one tablet by mouth twice a day as directed. So my directions say I'm gonna take the S trace. This will start on seven. DPO. So I'm on cycle day eight today. I will start taking, um, tracking my ov ovulation on cycle day 10, and then I have to report my ovulation to the clinic 
Then seven days later, I'll go in for a scan and blood work, assuming everything comes back fine, which it will. Um, I will start these meds. So S-Trace um, twice a day. Then I'll have the Cetratide. It'll be um, 0.125, so it's half of the Cetratide um, pens. I'll show you guys. These are, I like these actually. They're easier because it's already done. It's already pre-packaged, so it's all, can you see that, all in there together. Um, there's no mixing. You just have to do the, you know what? I lie, there's a little bit of mixing. But the pin is pre-filled, that's what it is. So you take the liquid that's already in the pin. This is the medicine here, you put it in here, you mix it up. I remember this now because you have to switch the needles and I switched the needles too soon last time. So after you've finished um, putting the water solution, the saline solution into the medication, you stir it up with that same needle and you draw it back into the, um, the pin with that same needle. I switched it and the other needle is too short. Um, then you switch it and you put the short needle in your skin. But these are easy, easy once you get the hang of it. So those, that's what that looks like. So I only take half of that while I'm priming. And then I will take the Omnitrope, which let's have it have its debut. So this little bugger gave me a lot of trouble. First Pharmacy would not fill it, which was my own fertility pharmacy because it's not covered by insurance and so they were just like nope you have to get it somewhere else so I tried to call or I didn't try I called the local pharmacy the Z chemist where I got the estrogen and the lady was like yeah that's gonna be four thousand dollars and I was like huh she was like four thousand dollars and so I was like I only need one vial and she was like well I don't have a use for this and I have to buy a minimum of eight. So you're gonna have to buy all eight. So I um, texted Lily G, um, TTC, and she was saying there's a coupon, there's a place in um, Jersey, Metro, blah, blah, blah. Turns out there's a Metro here. So I had to just call the RE's office, have the nurse put the prescription in over there, which happened, I think yesterday or maybe this morning. Anyway, Metro called me this morning. It ended up being 362. I had a coupon, they don't take the coupon anymore. Um, it was 352 plus $10 for the delivery to my house, which it got here a little bit ago. But anyway, this is the magic stuff. And I was watching today, um, oh no, that's not it, that's the water. Where is this? Um, is this in here? Oh, maybe it's in here. I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> and it comes in ice pack. It, I just pulled it out of the fridge. Um, here we go. Do not throw away. So, and it says, please remove them in the refrigerator, but the bag just said put it in the refrigerator right away, so. Um, HGH is human growth hormone, and it's meant to improve the quality of the eggs. I was watching Candace from My Fruitful Journey because she also did um, HGH during her cycle, she had a video about it, so I watched that. She actually did hers during stems and not prior. Lily G, TTC, also did hers during stems, so we'll see. Um, oh, it's inside. It's very secretive. Oh, my God, it's so tiny. So here's this bottle. And then inside of that is $362 worth of powder. Catch that dirt. So... That I will take. I am meant to mix it with this water here. And I'm imagining it's going to go in here. So, yeah, she said mix it all. And then there's only a certain amount that I take out at a time. So it's bacteriostatic water. I think I said saline before, but it's, it's water. For all of these, it's that same bacteriostatic water to mix those. So, oh, wait. Uh-uh. Is that? Okay. I don't need to mix these up. All right. I'm going to put these in here in the bottom of the ice chest where it's still cool because this light is on. Um, so that is the Omnitro. Hopefully it does the magic trick and I get really high quality eggs. And I'm claiming more than one, yes. Um, so that I'm going to take 
0.5 milliliters a day. Um, I mix it with 10 milliliters of the sterile water. After mixing, store it in the fridge and draw out 0.5 millimeters every day to inject subcutaneously. And it comes with an insulin needle. So that's what I'll be doing during priming. And then after priming, I um, cycle comes, right? Uh, so it's seven days of that. I continue it when the cycle starts and I'll go in on cycle day two or three for blood work and ultrasound. And then we start all this other stuff. We'll start with the um, gonal F and the Minipure which Minipure will be 150 and Gonal F will be 350. I think I was doing um, 450 of Gonal F last time, so it's a little bit less. Minipure is the same, didn't have Omnitrope, so yeah, that's where we are. That's what's going on. And then you take that every day. Um, you go in for scans. Like I think I did it three days on my own or four days on my own. And then I went in on the fourth day for my first or my second scan because you have the baseline just to see where you are. Then you go in um, for the next one to see what growth has happened and what's going on. So they look at your E2, they look at your follicle numbers and your follicle count, and they closely monitor your E2, which is your estradiol. Um, when it gets to a certain point, then they add the cetratide because that's to suppress the ovulation. They don't want you accidentally ovulating and then you don't get any eggs. And they did tell me no um, intercourse or intense exercises after my fifth day of injection. So woo -hoo, that's it, guys. We are officially starting. So yeah, now I'm just on. Oh, I wanted to show you this too. I got these cute little band-aids. I did band-aids last time. I did them with... Um, like little emojis, emoticons on there. Um, I couldn't find those, but I did find these on Amazon, um, which they're a little raised. It says touch and feel. It's like a little, I don't know if you can tell. It's a little puff on there. So I like those um, so that I remember where I injected last and I don't re-inject, I like to rotate. And I got this this time, it's lidocaine. It's 4% um, pain relieving topical analgesic and they used, obviously, a much stronger dose when I had my surgery for my breast biopsy, but I didn't feel anything, and there was like a lot. I felt the pressure, but nothing else. And then also when I had my um, cheeks done, I had a – I don't – I didn't record it, I don't think. I put it on Instagram. I put – um, fillers in my cheeks to kind of give it a little lift. And before they start all the injections, they cover your face in lidocaine for like 30 minutes. So, and then they stick a lot of needles in. I'm going to do that. Um, this time I know I read someone did this before and then they were like, it takes so long to numb that then they were just like, uh, screw it. I'm going to try it, um, with the intention of continuing it and we'll see how it goes. All right, so next video for me is going to be ovulation progression. Um, like I said, I'm starting in two days, and so you guys will see this one. I guess it's like the 5th of July you'll see this. Um, you'll be, you're watching this. And then the week after that, I'll have the compilation. I still have not scheduled my glucose test. I have to find someone who will do the, the two-hour glucose tolerance. So I did go online and look at some places today and, like, send in a request for information. So we'll see. Um, I still have about a week to do that. So that's okay. And then Friday, I'm going into the clinic to sign paperwork and get everything all finalized and give them, you know, a big fat wad of cash. Um, not cash. Don't follow me around New York and try to rob me. I'm going to give them some money. Um, yeah. And then we're off to the races. <sighs> I'm excited. I'm, I am actually excited this time. I wasn't excited last time. And I think, um, yeah, I know what to expect. I don't have any fear of like, what's it going to do? And obviously there's always things you can't control and things that are like delaying and I'm okay with that. Like I've, I've made peace with that, that I'm not in control. God is taking the wheel. Um, thank goodness. Um, because if I were driving, I might drive off a cliff, but he's got me. Um, I'm excited, I'm hopeful, and um, looking forward to my baby. Babies, babies. All right, I'll talk to you later. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and hanging out with us for a while. Join the fam. I love talking to my TTC sisters, and um, yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye. Mwah. <laughs> baby does to us all. Thank you.